Did you know that a well-crafted blog on Shopify can increase your store's traffic by over 200%? But where do you start and how do you get a blog set up on Shopify? In today's tutorial, I'm going to unveil the secret ingredient to creating a blog on Shopify that not only gets you more visitors, but we're gonna turn those visitors directly into sales. I'll take you through the exact process that I use. I'm gonna do it live on my Shopify store so you can see exactly how I do it. I'm going to show you how to set up the structure of the blog, how to do it directly in Shopify, how to customize your theme. Not only that, I'm gonna show you how to create really high converting content so that customers don't just find your blog page, they actually use it to buy products from you. And because I'm feeling just a little generous, I'm even going to give you the template that I share within my e-commerce academy that's going to help you use ChatGPT to write blog content on your Shopify store. And I'll give you that for free. But why do we even need to create blogs on Shopify at all? If you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I love SEO and I really like SEO for Shopify. In fact, I've got the number one ranked Shopify SEO tutorial on YouTube. You can check it out over here. And one of the things that I've realized over the last 10 or so years that I've been running e-commerce stores is that in order to rank properly for SEO, you can't just rely on optimizing product pages and collection pages. You see, search engines are hungry and they feed on content. And what we have to do is we need to feed them content because without content, they have nothing. Their job is to serve up the right pages to the right people. And our job is to give them the content that they need and they want to feed them that content. Okay, lots of content, but you know what I mean. And they really favor websites that are continually updating and feeding them new content. That's where Shopify blogs come in. By regularly blogging and creating new content on your store, you're not only signaling to the search engines that you're an active site and it helps you rank, but you're also putting more pages out into the world, giving you more chances of more customers finding you. AKA, you're gonna get traffic without needing to put up ads. So what content should we make in our blogs and how are we gonna go ahead and do it? First, we need to work out what it is we want to write about. The way I think about it is we wanna write about things that not only help our existing customers, but help new customers find us. And the best way to do that is to write content that is search engine friendly. So we wanna write content based on what people search in search engines. And we use a really cool tool to help us find what people are searching for. Let me show you how it works. The tool we use is called SEMrush, or some people call it SEMrush. Now, if you haven't used SEMrush before, I have got a seven day trial for you right there. So for you to be able to follow along in this tutorial, you're gonna need SEMrush so that you can come up with content ideas. So I'll give you a minute to go click the link and set up a free trial of SEMrush. Oh, and when you return, be sure to give the uh, subscribe button a poke so that you get notified of videos like this every time I upload them. So now let's jump into SEMrush. This is the tool here. And what I want you to do is head over to this section here, which is called content marketing. We're gonna click that and we're gonna go into topic research. Now the cool thing about this tool is all we need to do is put in the keywords that we wanna rank for and it's gonna give us topics that we can write about. In my world, I'm gonna put in boxing gloves. And what it's gonna do here is it's gonna give us related terms to boxing gloves of things that people search for. And we can see we've got punching bags, volume of 8,100 searches, boxing gloves drawing, 4,400, boxing glass Everlast, which is a brand, Walmart. So what we're trying to do here is find a topic that we are comfortable talking about and based on products that we sell. All right, so I've got one here, boxing gloves for kids. That one looks pretty good to me. So we're gonna click that. And now what we can see on here is it's gonna give us some suggested headlines, but it's also gonna give us this section here, which is questions. Now these questions are the questions that people are asking in search engines around this topic. So if we have a look at these, we've got what gear do I need for my kid to get into boxing? What are the best kids boxing gloves? What are open finger gloves for? What are the best gloves for a fight? So we gotta find the ones that are likely for a child to use, okay? So I'm gonna choose this one, which is what are the best kids boxing gloves? Now the great thing about this is, people are asking for this content, which means they are looking for it. So what we want to do is write content that has an intent to purchase a product. So this one's great because it says, what are the best kids boxing gloves? So what I can do is write an article about the best kids boxing gloves, and you know what I can do? I can link it to my product so they can buy it. So now that we have a topic, we're gonna to need to write this article. I'm gonna give you a few tips on that. If you're a great writer, go ahead and write this article. We're gonna need about 500 words uh, for it to be great for SEO. So go ahead, go off, do your thing, write your article. 
We do live in the world of AI though, and I've gone off and I have gotten AI to write me an article. But I haven't just said to ChatGPT, hey, write me an article. I used a really detailed prompt, one that we teach in the e-commerce academy, and it's the ChatGPT cheat sheet that I've linked down below for you guys. It's just my little favor to you, because I am feeling a little generous today. Once you've got ChatGPT to write that article though, we do need to rewrite it a little bit to make it human readable. Search engines do now detect AI content and they do not like it. They want human written content in their search engines and they won't rank AI written content. So what we do is we get ChatGPT to write the majority of it. We then throw that content into a tool such as Quillbot or Grammarly and those tools can paraphrase and rephrase the content for us to turn it into human readable text. Alternatively, you can just rewrite say 20 or 30% of it and it will be detected as human text. But just to be sure, we use a tool called an AI content detector. And here's the one that we've done for our article. Basically what we've done is we've copied and pasted our article into this detector and we've clicked detect text. It goes ahead and checks the text and comes back to us to tell us whether or not it is human written. If it's not human written, it's gonna tell us. We can see here this one isn't human written and the AI text is GPT generated. We don't want that, we want it to come up with human written text. So ChatGPT can do most of the work, but we need to make it more human. Lucky for you, I've gone ahead and done that. I've spent the time just to make this tutorial easier because I'm sure you don't wanna sit here watching me type out an article. So this is the article I've got and it's going to be what are the best kids boxing gloves. So now we're gonna take this article and we're gonna throw it into Shopify and create this blog post. So head over to your top Shopify store and what we're gonna do is we're gonna click online store and blog posts. Now, if you haven't created a blog post before, you're not going to see existing blog posts here. You're going to see a button that just says create blog post. That's gonna take you to the exact same screen as this one. So now let's fill this out with the content that we wrote. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop in here, we're gonna take out the heading. Now this is the heading that we got from SEMrush and this is the one that we wanna be ranked for. So this heading itself has to go in the title. The next thing we need to do is put the content in. So let's go ahead and do that. Super simple, copy and paste. And then we're just gonna go through and just clean it up so it reads a lot better. So I've tidied this article up here and it's looking pretty good. It's got a pretty good layout. But right now all it is is just a lump of text and we wanna judge this up a little bit. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that this article not only gets found and educates people, but it links them through to a product because we wanna turn this free traffic into a paying customer. So what we've done is we embed products in every single blog that we write. So everything that we put out there, we wanna make sure that it has some sort of action or intention at the end of it. So if you have a look at this article we've written, we can see we've got this section here, which is our top picks for kids boxing gloves. And what we've done is we've called out two, no, we've called out three products actually. Let me pull this one back in here. This is the Morgan one, uh, I'll do that. So we've got three products here. We've got kids boxing gloves by Punch, Arwood Kids Boxing Gloves and Morgan Kids Boxing Gloves. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna link these to our products and we're gonna also put images in here for each of these. So in order to do the linking, we highlight the text, we click the link button and what we do is we're gonna link it to that page. So I'm gonna head over to my store and I'm gonna grab the link. We just paste it in there. Now we don't need to put a link title in here at this stage because we've highlighted the text already, it's going to use the link title of the text. Now that is very important that we we highlight the title of the product and we don't just have a click here to view the product because having the title linked follows the keywords through to the page. It's called internal linking and it's great for SEO. So we're gonna do the same thing with all the other products. So now these have all got links in them and it means that people can find the products that we're recommending. But let's just take a look at this blog post and see what it looks like. All right, we'll save it here and we're gonna click preview at the top. All right, not too bad doesn't look a bit great, maybe a little bit janky, right? If someone landed on this page, it's not gonna be overly exciting, all right? So let's jazz this up a little bit further. What we can actually do is we can insert images directly into this. This is what I really like to do when it comes to product linking. So in here, we find the space we wanna put the image, we click insert image, and we select the image that we wanna insert. So we click done. We can see the image is now popped in here. So what you can do is you can grab it, you can resize it and make it look however you like. You could even click it there. You can add a link directly to that product. Okay, so we're seeing those in there. And we could do that for every single product that we have. For this demo, I'll just show you this one, but obviously you go in, spend a little bit of time adding these ones in here. 
Now, the other thing that's really useful to know is that we can format this content however we like. And this is also good for SEO. So from an SEO perspective, and if you haven't watched my SEO masterclass, there is a link here for you to go check it out. And it talks a lot about heading ones, heading twos, heading threes, and their use when it comes to SEO. So the same applies when it comes to blogs. So this item here is called a H1 tag and heading one, and this is what really ranks us for SEO, but we do wanna have H2 and H3 tags where we can, so that we can also show that this content is related to the actual heading. So we're gonna grab these ones here, and we're gonna select those, and we're gonna choose the formatting here, and we're gonna make these heading two. We'll do the same thing with this one, heading two, okay? And this basically not only lays the article out really well, but it also helps with SEO. And I'll do this one as well, heading two. Great. So that's that. Now, if we wanted to change the color or anything of this, you can also use this section here. I don't usually change the color in the blogs because I think it looks uh, fine where it's nice and clean. Maybe that's just my aesthetic, but let's just say you want to change some colors of this. You can obviously go in here and do any sort of changes that you want. Not my vibe, but hey, if you guys want to do it, you absolutely can. So we can do that, we can also adjust, we can align, we can do underline. So you can use this just like using a normal uh, word editor. You can even insert video if you like. Now, if you wanna get really crazy, we've also got this show HTML where it shows you what the code looks like. Uh, I don't think we need to do that these days. We can just dump this directly in here. So let's go over to the right hand side and I'll show you what these other options are. So we've got this section here, which is called the featured image. Now, if I just save this and we go look at this article now, I'll give it a refresh. Click preview again. Now we can see that, yes, we've got this image in here now and we can click that through to our product. That looks great, but it still looks a little bit boring and I think we can fix this up. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna insert an image at the top here and this is called a blog image or a featured image. So we can see the featured image here and all we wanna do now is we wanna click add image and we're gonna upload an image that we wanna put in here. We click that and we upload it into the blog. So now we see we've got this featured image here of this little boy with boxing gloves on. Okay, let's go down a little bit here. We've got a section which is called author. That's obviously the person that is logged into the store, AKA me. Now we have this other section here which is called blog. Now we can have multiple style blogs on here. So a blog is basically, you could almost think of like a category. So in our world, we could potentially have multiple blogs. I could have a blog for boxing, I could have a blog for karate, I could have a blog for MMA, all different blogs. And then under that, I'd have articles that are related to that. If we really wanted to go down that far, if you're putting out lots of resources, and lots of content, it's a really nice way to categorize it. The cool thing about that is it will also update the URL to help with SEO. What I mean by that is if we have a look here, this blog is our basic one, it just says news. If we were to set up a specific blog for boxing or a specific blog for karate, it would say blogs, boxing or blogs, karate, which really helps with SEO. In our world, we're just putting blogs up once or twice a month, so we don't need to categorize it right now. Potentially in the future, as we try and level up our SEO, it could be something that we can do. Now tags don't really play a part as much. It's still nice to put them in there just in case you use them in the future. So I'm gonna put something in here like kids. Uh, I might put something in like boxing gloves and that's gonna help us find that in the future if we ever wanna use tags. Now, online store template, we'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. This is a really important way to make your blog look really awesome. But what I wanna go into now is the SEO. Let's have a look over here on the left. If we click edit website SEO, this brings up how Google interprets the way your site looks. So right now we've got what are the best kids boxing gloves and that's exactly what we want Google to see. Now what we can actually do in here is we can adjust this so that it encourages people to click through on this article because if they see it in Google just like this, they're also gonna read this to see whether or not it's something that they want to click. So rather than just putting in the text that's in the article, in here we wanna write something that encourages them to click. But let me give you an example. So what I've written in here is just something that's more enticing for them to click through. Looking for the best boxing gloves for your kids to get started, we've gone and researched the absolute best gloves around and reviewed them so you don't have to. Check out our article here. Now this doesn't necessarily help in ranking, but what it helps is what we call click-through rate. If someone reads this, they're more likely to click it because it's answering the question that they want. So go ahead and just make sure that this makes sense to you. The next part is just making sure that the URL matches the terms. This is a similar sort of stuff that I go through in my e-commerce academy when I help people rank on SEO. And we talk a little bit about it in the SEO masterclass I mentioned earlier. All right, this is looking fantastic. Let's just click save. Let's have a look what it looks like now. 
Great, so we've got one of the best kids boxing clubs. We now see this uh, this cute little kid here, and then we see the article, and it's looking a lot better, and it's giving uh, links to the products that people wanna buy. And we've got this section here, which I should cover off, which is called the excerpt. Now this is just something like a little preview or a blurb of what the article's about. So we can either manually write something in there, or I typically just grab the first paragraph that's in there so people know how this article starts. So just copy that, we'll go to the excerpt and we'll add it in there. Now you might not see the excerpt on your store, it depends on what theme you have, whether or not it shows the excerpt on your store. So let's click save there. Now I did promise you that we were going to make this look really good so that it converts really well. Now there's a trick that not many people talk about and that is editing the blog template specifically to the blog article that you've written. So if I have a look over here, we see that we've got online store and then under the online store, we've got multiple templates. And you can see we've added in some of our own custom templates here. Now what this does is this modifies the way the page looks to the outside world and we can configure it so that it encourages people to go somewhere else after they have read our blog, not go to another site, but go to somewhere else on our store. So let's have a look on how to edit those templates now. So we're gonna head over to the theme section of our Shopify store. We're gonna click customize here. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna go up and we're gonna click homepage. So we can bring up all these different template options here. We're gonna click blog posts. And you can see under my blog posts here, we've got multiple different templates. Now, if you've only got the default blog template, that's fine. What I want you to do is click create template. And we're gonna name it something. So I'm gonna call this kids boxing gloves. And this one is gonna be based on the default blog post. We'll click create template. And then what this is going to allow us to do is actually style this page and assign it to a blog post. And I'll show you why that's really cool. So let's just change this here so we can see what our blog post is. And we'll type in kids, hopefully it comes up. Yep, uh, what are the best kids ones? We'll click that so it just shows us what it looks like. This is what it's gonna look like to the outside world. But if you know how to use this theme editor, you can see we've got some options here that we can add things in and out. Now what I like to do here is if we read this, even though we have links to these products, what we could do is at the bottom of this page here, we could actually link to a collection. Let's do that. So I'm gonna click add section and I'm gonna do a featured collection. And if we click that there, we can go to the right here and I'm gonna type in kids. I think I've got a collection here called kids boxing gloves. <clears throat> Okay, oh, boxing gloves for kids. So now we can see we've got a whole heap of boxing gloves for kids. We click select. We can see that this sits underneath this article now. We can also do other things like adjust the way the page is laid out. You know, we can uh, turn off the category. We don't need to show the author. We don't need to show the date. We don't do anything. So we can actually play around with this however we like based on the aesthetic that we want. We can have the sign up form there or we can get rid of that all together. We can get rid of all these things and make it wide if we really like. I actually prefer it wide without the sidebar. I'm a clean minimalist kind of guy, so that makes more sense to me. Okay, now instead of featured collection, we can click in here. We can change that from featured collection to um, browse our range of kids boxing gloves. Okay, and we can see when someone goes to read this article, not only do they have the options there, they now click it through to here. So we can click save. Now, once we've done that, we now need to assign that template back to the blog post so that we can see it. To do that, we go back to the blog section. We click on the blog post that we want. And on the right hand side, you're gonna see down here, we've got kids boxing gloves sits in there. So we click that, we click save. And now when we press preview, we can see it's this widescreen. It's a nice blog post in the middle. It's got the links and it's got these collections down below, which are gonna be dynamically updated. All right, one last thing is how are we going to show people where these blogs are? So I'm gonna show you how to put it in the navigation and I'm also gonna show you how to make sure that it's a section on your homepage. Let's go back to the theme customizer and we're gonna to go to our homepage now. We can see it here. Now we just use sections to add this in, it's super simple. At the bottom of our page, we've already got a section which is called blog posts. And you should be able to see this on your theme. Most themes should have this in here, but we've got this blog post section here. If you don't have it, you just click add section, uh, type in blog in here and you should be able to add in the blog post there. All right, and it pops it in there and it pulls in the latest blogs. We could then go through and change all the settings that we want to or choose a different blog, anything we want to do, we can just edit it like we would a normal section on our Shopify theme customizer. That's the first way to get it on your homepage. The next way is to put it in your navigation. 
And in order to do that, we're gonna go back to the Shopify admin. I'm gonna click navigation this time. Now I've got a bit of navigation here, but you should only have a couple. I play around this all the time. But if we wanna to go to something like the main menu and we wanna add this blog in there, so we just click add menu item and then let's call it whatever we like. We might call it blog, okay? And then we click in here and we're now going to see we've got blogs and blog posts. Now remember blogs are the category where we talk about whether it's boxing gloves or karate or anything like that. And blog posts are the individual posts. In this world, we're gonna click blogs and we're gonna choose the combat sports central is what we call our one. And then we click add. Now that's added blog to the menu item for us. So if we click save menu and we go back to our store, I'll refresh the page. And now we see this new item in here. Can take a few minutes to update on some stores, but once it's there, you'll see it. And if we click it, we can now see all our blogs are in here, right? How cool. But obviously we can't see the one that I just posted because it's still hidden and I'll show you how to unhide it. So go back to here, click our blog posts, and we're ready to push this one live. We change it from hidden to visible. You can even set it to go live in the future. So you could create four or five different blogs and just set them live every one or two weeks or depending how frequently you want to do them. All right, so now that the blog is up and running, I've got one final little bonus treat for you. We have set it up, but you know, no one knows about it. We have to tell the search engines regularly that these new blogs have been written. So we use a trick which is called a sitemap XML. And if you haven't heard about it, it's basically a feed that we give into Google so that every time we add a new page on our store, it sends Google a little ping and it says, hey, come to my store and check out my new page. It's super simple, super easy to do. So we wanna head over to something called the Google Search Console. So if you just search for Search Console, you'll find the link to it. When you log in, you may need to set it up and verify your store, but once it's set up, what we wanna do is we wanna click a sitemap. So we click sitemaps, and we're gonna add a new sitemap. Now, because we're using Shopify, it's really easy. And all we need to do is type in here, sitemap.xml. You can see I've actually got one already in here, but we click submit. And then basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna say every time we update this sitemap XML in Shopify, it's gonna ping Google and it's gonna say, hey, we've got a new page. And the more we do that, the happier Google is going to be. All right, so now we have a perfectly optimized blog. We have great content that not only gets us free traffic, but it's gonna convert your traffic into visitors because we're linking through to products. We've styled it, we've structured it the right way. It's set up for SEO. You've got access to my ChatGPT cheat sheet. You've got a free trial of SEMrush. I think we've pretty much delivered on this video when it comes to value. So I'm just gonna ask you for one thing because this is the sort of video I put out all the time. So make sure you punch that subscribe button and you drop a comment down below if you found this one powerful. If you did love this video, I'm gonna stand here for a few minutes and then suggested videos are gonna pop around me and see if there's one that's gonna help you grow your Shopify store.